Hi Aries, this is a love reading, okay? This is going to be um, how they feel about you. Oh, we've got the High Priestess, which is Pisces energy, Scorpio energy here. Oh, they feel like you're very, uh, obviously they know that you're very, they find you very sexy, male or female, okay? And this is um, temperance, okay? They feel like you are very intuitive, could be dealing with a Sag also. They feel like you are, um, hmm, how can I put this, you guys? Um, not only are you sexy, but you you give them balance. You're a very patient person. You're very intuitive. You follow your intuition. You see things. Um, there's something that you feel guided with this person about. Um, somebody's initials here could start with a B or a J. Okay. Um, you see this. It's in, you know, sometimes I see in this deck the... Uh, the high priestess as this is the keeper of uh secrets okay so this person could be feeling like you're hiding how you feel about them and they're trying to be very patient with you right now so keep that in mind okay just just keep that in mind so they want you to share a little bit more okay share a little bit more you see how in this uh card she's she's pouring a cup into a different cup right like she's pouring some the liquid, which is the emotion, the water into another cup. And this is really about, um, can you guys see that? I hope you, yeah. Okay. She's pouring something into another cup and it's like, well, I'm giving, it's giving from my own cup. So this person wants to give you more emotion and more love, show you more affection, spend more quality time with you, that type of deal, and just hang out with you and be with you and enjoy the moment. And they feel like you might be a little bit guarded. You could be keeping some secrets. Yeah, here's the moon card. Okay, so this moon is, they do feel like you're secretive. Um... Mm, Oh, we have another card here. Oh boy, the lovers. Okay. So all major arcana, by the way. So this person likes you. I don't know if I should say if they like you or, <laughs> I mean, obviously they like you, right? You provide this person with some form of stability. Aries, okay. They feel, they feel like, um, <clears throat> could be dealing with the Gemini or Cancer, too. Those are the signs that are here right now, okay? So, you know, this is a very strong, passionate connection, okay? They do feel connected to you physically. They, they I mean, you see how in these cards also, they might feel like you guys are hiding another person because in these two cards... The, the lovers is about a choice in between two. And then the moon, this card, there's three people. Okay. And this one person in the middle is touching both people. Okay. So um, there could be an age difference here. Somebody could be shorter. Okay. Than the other person. And somebody could be pregnant too. So maybe this is between you and someone who your child's father, your child's father, your child's mother, or you're pregnant with somebody or something. Okay. Now we have a three of cups. So guess what? I mean, they feel like you're keeping, um, a third party situation away from them. Okay. There, there are some secrets here. Um, what else for Aries, please? Five of Wands, there's some fighting. So maybe you've already experienced some external conflict with this person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Three of Cups is, is um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Maybe this person had you hang out. I'm getting that this person had you hang out with this other person or there's a friend group or a close friend group or something or you saw somebody or somebody at a party or something. You were in the same place with this other third party and didn't even know it or you could, but you could sense it. You could sense something was off or that some people will talk, were talking about you behind your back or something, but there was some sort of conflict or this could just be that Aries, you fighting with this person. Y'all exchange some words over a third party situation or, or over some secrets that they, that you think that they're withholding from you. They're not telling you everything about the situation. And that's what I said. Here's that Knight of Cups. Okay? 
So this person does love you. They do. They might be caught up in a situation, an entanglement. What is different for everybody, Aries? Okay, Knight of Cups is like, I'm sorry. I fought with you. I'm sorry we had that argument. I'm sorry I made you feel like you had to choose. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, okay? This person might come towards you and not only say they're sorry, but they're going to be like, I'm sorry, take this deep. I'm sorry, take this whatever you got between your legs. I'm just I'm just saying that's they might try to come back towards you and entice you with some sex. Okay, let's move on. I'm gonna move on. Yeah, three of swords, but I don't know if you're feeling that, okay? But you know that your person, because we're talking about how they feel about you. So this could be you putting them in this third party situation. You know, apply it where it fits. Okay. Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Or maybe you have that in your chart or your person could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is this is like energy of you feeling betrayed, heartbroken over this third party situation. So yeah, that's that's what I see here. Let's pull some message cards and see from the twin flame soulmate deck and see what's going on here. How does Aries person feel about them? How do they feel about Aries, please? How do they feel about Aries? Ooh, too many. Okay. They said, I post shit on purpose for you to see. So they want some attention. They want your undivided attention. And the way that they think they can get your undivided attention is by posting stuff on social media. <laughs> That's so funny. You made me feel crazy. Okay. So, you know, somebody blame somebody for something here. You know, it was like you knew something was up or your person knew something was up. They didn't trust their intuition. Maybe they felt like you were giving to somebody else. Plus them. Let's see. Why fuck with my head if you're not going to do shit? I mean, this person's like, don't come back to me and talk to me and say I'm sorry or whatever. If you're not going to actually change. What else? I can't, I can't tell still. Oh, I can tell you're still not over me. Stop fighting it. My bad, y'all. Okay. I had the hiccups just then. Stop fighting it. They want you to stop fighting it. They want you to pay some attention to them. Yep. The car just wants to move sideways, don't it, y'all? What else do they want to say to my Aries? They want to say, I called in a meeting with my spirit guides because of you. So this person, <laughs> they're praying. I mean, it's not funny, but whatever. They're praying about you, trying to figure out what to do. Okay, they are asking God. My pride won't let me reach out. So they want your undivided attention. Their ego and their pride is in the way. And they're posting stuff on social media, hoping that you are the actual person that will reach out to them. Isn't that interesting? I find that to be so interesting, Aries. What else for Aries, please? Oh, what did I say? What did I say? I'm going to let you read this. And remove this attitude, okay? Your person's like, give me that D. Give me that WAP. Give me whatever you got over there. That's what this Knight of Cups and this Knight of, um, I'm sorry, the Page of Cups and the Knight of Wands is about, okay? Or it's backwards. I'm sorry, you guys. I haven't read these cards in a while. I think this is the... Um, either way, that's the message, okay? You know, don't be judging me. <laughs> it's late, you guys. I'm doing this reading. It's late. So I, I felt like you needed it. But like I said, the point was earlier, the message was your person was just like, yep, I'm coming towards you. I'm sorry. Um, just give me that. You know what? That war for whatever it is. What else for Aries? Could be done with an Aquarius. I just heard Aquarius. My thoughts about you have been so negative lately. Hmm. I think they're just pissed that, that you aren't um, talking to them, showing them any attention. So whatever they're doing on social media is just not working. It's not working. 
And then my last message I have for you, Aries, is I know you're still sleeping together. So they know that you're still in this third party situation. Or remember, energies and roles can be reversed. They know that you're still seeing this other person, okay? And, um, yep, they know. Okay. But they still, a part of them still wants to sleep with you too, which is weird. I mean, I'm not judging y'all, but I'm just saying. They know what you're doing, but it's almost like they can't let you go. They want some attention. You know what I'm saying? Their egos get in the way. They're praying about you. So, yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. What else here for Aries? Any other, how does that person feel about Aries, please? Yeah, she ain't you. Somebody is in a third-party situation for real, okay? She's not you. He's not you. Can I see you soon? That's the Page of Cups energy. That's that Knight of Cups. Can I come see you and do all the things she won't do or he won't do? And, mm, yep. New love. Uh-oh. Somebody's got new love coming in or they're afraid that you may have moved on to another lover. Yep. Planning. Something planning. They're planning to come see you soon or come towards you or have a conversation with you, okay? So somebody's planning something. We've got karmic. So the third party is a karmic, okay? So apply that where that fits. Just know I am learning to communicate better. So they're learning to communicate better. They're trying to, this person is planning, trying to be very careful about how they're going to communicate with you, what they're going to say. Because they really do want to talk, especially after if there was a big fight or blowout. Yeah, this person definitely feels insecure. They miss your touch. We know that with that Knight of Wands, obviously. And I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. Yeah, that's that energy of my pride won't let me reach out. But hey, pay attention to me on social media, please. All right, let's get some messages from the Divine Masculine. Uh, Divine Masculine, remember you guys, can be a female, okay? Divine Feminine can be a male. There is no gender in tarot, so we're just going to pull some messages here and see what the Divine Masculine in this situation has to say, how they feel. Just wherever that resonates for you, you will know. You know your story more than I do. If you need a personal reading, that information is below in the description box. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'd love for you to. And you go ahead and subscribe if you like the energy and the vibe here. And then hit the alert button, the bell right over there that you see. And let me know um, in the comments how this reading resonated for you, okay? All right. Your person said, I'd be lost without you. Well, well, we know that. They're lost without you now. Shit. <laughs> Based on this stuff, every piece of me aches for you. Yeah. Eight, you like physically, that physical touch. Remember, we saw that earlier. Um, I love you. I mean, I'm like in love with you. I've never felt this way towards anyone. Look at this. They are lost without you. You see that? Let me let me zoom. There you go. There you go. Can y'all see that? I'm just saying. Okay, okay, okay. Let me move on. Let me move on. I know you're upset with me, but I just wanted you to know that I care. Right? Mm-hmm. But they 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 love you so much. And you know what's so funny? I kept looking over at this. Aries, this I love you card. I'm not even using this deck, but the deck is over here. And look at what's on the top of the deck. I love you. I love you more than I ever found a way to say. So they do love you. Expect communication from them. Yeah, and they're planning. Then we see planning, Aries. Silent moves. Making silent moves. I'm making silent moves. Don't want to ruin my plans. They don't want anybody to ruin their plans. So somebody's planning to leave a karmic or something. Their ego and their pride is getting in the, in the way of them taking action right now. Let's pull some um, Hidden Truth Oracle messages and see how they're feeling. And then I'll let y'all go. Okay. All right. What's the Hidden Truth here for Aries? Hidden Truth here for Aries. I left when I was, when I saw you with someone. Yep. This is definitely third party. They saw you with somebody for sure okay i want to be more than friends so 
maybe you all were just playing around being friends. Everybody's situation is going to be different. This message doesn't have to apply for every um, Aries, okay? But they definitely, there's definitely a third party situation, something weird happening. We will be together again. Yeah, they are not letting this go because they cannot stop thinking about you, okay? What else for Aries? Yeah, I understand our connection now. So somebody understands the connection. They may have been enlightened to it. You know what I mean? Um, let's pull some signs. Oh, okay. Let me see which of something just fell in my lap. You guys, the sign that just fell in my lap was Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, could be dealing with a Virgo. Yep, Virgo again. Let's see here. Capricorn again and Aquarius. I think I did say Aquarius. Okay, and then what do we see on the board? Uh, Scorpio, Pisces, um, Cancer, okay, Gemini, Sagittarius here. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio again, and then more fire energy. Okay, so that is your reading. Love you guys. Bye.